Hi guys. So today I want to talk about like my top tips for a successful Patreon. Short disclaimer before I get too far into it, by no means am I like the Patreon expert. This is just what's worked really well for me. I started in August and my goal, my top goal was to get $50 a month. I know I didn't dream very big, but now I am over 500. So I'm extremely excited about that and want to keep seeing where it goes. So I must be doing something right, I think. <laughs> so tip number one, make sure you actually have something to offer. I have no intention to say names or anything like that, but I've seen a lot of Patreons that are new and they're such sweet people, usually young artists, and they're really excited, but they don't really have anything to offer. If you don't have anything to really offer anyone, why would they give you money? Sounds harsh, but that's kind of where it's coming from. Kind of a short add-on to that, of having something to offer, don't just repost stuff that you give for free on your Patreon. If your patrons see that you are posting the same thing on Instagram or Facebook, why are they paying for it? There are a lot of people out there as you get bigger who just want to give you a couple bucks a month as a support, which is great. But in the beginning, if you're a nobody artist, we all start as nobody from somewhere, and you got to know that and be aware of that. It's not an indictment on your character, it's just business. Think about it. You probably don't give your $2 to random strangers, so why should you expect other people to? My next tip is make sure you're active. I see this all the time. People start really strong and they post like every other day and then after a month, they just kind of disappear. Patreon is a slow burn and you really got to put stuff into it. For me, it helps me hold myself accountable and get good work out there. I probably post too much. I honestly am worried I like kind of know my patrons sometimes. <laughs> I went <laughs> anyway my patrons so much um so you can always hold a poll and get feedback and see what they want to see um but really it's better to post too much than not enough obviously don't post like five times a day but daily posts are fantastic just so they know what's going on if you have a bigger project like maybe you're you cosplay or something sometimes it can be hard to have daily content so make sure you schedule your posts Maybe put an eight hour work day on like a Saturday or something. And there's like three different stages you can break your project up into. That's three days worth of posts. That's fantastic. So if you have something like that, make sure that you know that and you can schedule your posts accordingly. My third tip is engage with the community. So people leave comments and stuff. You can just like their comment back. But really, if you just take two seconds to type thank you or maybe ask them a question or just anything that shows that you really want to interact with them, it goes a long way. Now, if you genuinely don't care, don't respond. Just like the comment. And that, that's okay, honestly, but just don't put off a vibe that you do care and that you are really customer service-y, I guess, if you don't. Because people, especially on the internet, are really good at picking up on that. So if you're being fake, just don't say anything. Just be like a cool artist or creator and just share your content, but don't put on a facade that you're really touchy and feely if you're not. And then my next and final tip is to have good community goals. So you can do this either by setting how much money you're making a month or how many patrons that you have. But either way, put realistic goals. If you have zero patrons right now, don't have only one goal that's like, oh, when well, I hit a thousand patrons, I'll buy a better camera. There's not a whole lot to get invested there and it's likely that your patrons that pledge in the beginning might not even be around to see it towards the end. Because whether you like it or not, Patreon can be used as kind of like a slightly more intimate storefront, I guess. They might pledge for a month, download everything you have, and then leave. Personally, I don't take a whole lot of offense to this. I offer 60 models just about, my next release in February. I have people all the time that will pledge $3 that day and delete the same day and download everything. A lot of creators get really hurt about that. I don't. I'm like, hey, you gave me three bucks. Awesome. I used to give myself for free on Thingiverse, so any tip is awesome. And I got one tip on Thingiverse for $2, which is amazing because I had like, oh man, I had like over 30,000 views and a ton of makes and prints, and then people started stealing my designs and reselling them, and it was a mess. So needless to say, when people do give me a thing, I'm very grateful for it. Back on track to the goals and stuff, just keep in mind you want to have things that are going to engage your community. It's not that they're going to like want to see you grow. But make sure that not every patron is going to be like that. And just don't take it personally if it doesn't go the way you expect it to. Because the deleted pledge is not an indictment on your character. 
All right, thank you for watching. And if you have any questions or if you'd like some more tips, I could talk all day. Just let me know. Thanks.